Hey everyone, welcome to this Cloud Secure demo video where we help you extend your zero trust segmentation solution for your multi-cloud environment. So let's jump in and take a look at how this works. So the first thing to do is to onboard your various cloud accounts. I've already done so for a few here, but just to show you how this works, we offer support for AWS and Azure today. And there's a built-in wizard here that steps you through the process. In three simple steps, you can be up and running. With AWS, you just provide us some account information and we'll provide you a pre-populated CloudFormation template that'll set up all the necessary IAM roles and permissions. For Azure, it's a similar process with a few steps. We provide you a PowerShell script that gets run and it'll set up the necessary app registration and all the permissions required for that as well. It takes just a couple minutes to set that up. And once you're done, Cloud Secure will begin to learn about your cloud environments, all the workloads we've discovered, and the various traffic flow data that we can recover as well. So without doing anything else in this environment, let's take a look at what Cloud Secure can provide for you. One critical step in your zero trust journey is asset mapping and visibility. You've got to be able to understand what you have in your cloud environment and what communications are going on in that environment before you can start worrying about drafting security policy to help tighten these things down. So without doing anything else, Cloud Secure has discovered these various assets in my environment. So I've got an AWS account here, I've got an Azure account, and you can see it provides a cloud native construct around the relationship between these objects. So at the top layer here, I can see I've discovered resources in all these various regions. If I open up a particular region here in the US East one, I can see I've discovered some NAT gateways, a couple of VPCs, and within that VPC, I've got a subnet and so forth, all the way down to the level of an individual EC2 instance here. And I can show all of these assets and how they relate to each other on this view. Azure is a very similar constructs. You can see I've got various regions up here, different virtual networks and subnets and you get down to the level of individual virtual machines, and I can even view traffic data from here, showing from the point of view, whatever I clicked on, all the flows we've discovered coming and going from that resource. So that's just some of the first things we can do here with Cloud Secure is providing you this view of all of your assets in one place and how they're connected to each other in terms of this cloud native hierarchy of resource types. Now, the next step is about authoring segmentation policy that helps prevent communications that are unnecessary. And we do this through a simple natural language that we call labels. So from this inventory view, I can look at all of the resources I've discovered in my cloud and all of the cloud native tags that have been applied to those objects. Now within Illumio, we use a labeling construct. And all that means is we're providing you plain old humanly readable words that provide categorization around all of these assets using words that make sense within your organizational structure. So we can take all of the tags that we've discovered and map them into Illumio labels that define each workload in ways that make sense to you. For example, you may have different environments called development or staging. You may have different workloads that are running different operating systems like Linux or Windows or what have you. You've got high-risk assets you can categorize. You can describe the role it's playing, whether it's a database or a web server and so forth. So now you've got all these assets categorized with label sets. And now we can begin to write policy that gets pushed out into your cloud environments using those policy sets that provides a much easier way to write rule sets instead of worrying about networking constructs and IP addresses and such. So from this view here, Cloud Secure helps you set up various ways to define the different applications running in your environment. Maybe you have a finance app or a ticketing app, and you've also got different deployments where those applications are rolled out. You have a production instance, you might have a development instance, and now that we've got all these labels assigned to these objects, we can help you write policy and view at an application level what's going on in this particular environment. So let's take a look at this ticketing production application, and I can provide you a map view that just shows the assets related to this particular application. And in this case, I'm looking at a particular Azure subscription. You can see I've got several virtual machines in this particular subnet. If I hover over this workload, I can see an animated view of all the traffic lines coming to and from this device. I can also realize that, hey, I've got a development system here that's a web server talking to my production database. Huh, that doesn't look right. Well, we provide you ways of seeing this traffic so that you can use this as a tool to help prevent these communications. So we provide you a way to write policy directly from this view 
that'll be applied to anything that's involved in this ticketing application. So I've got some rules already written to allow and deny various flows. And I'm just using these labeling constructs to provide the source and destination for this traffic. And Illumio will figure out behind the scenes what all workloads are involved with these label sets and apply the appropriate cloud native rules to my AWS security groups or my Azure network security group rules using the proper syntax that they expect to see. And it's easy to come in here and just create new rules. Let's say I want to add a deny rule to block that flow I was just looking at. So I can come in here and say, hey, anything coming from my development environment shouldn't be able to talk to this ticketing application over my SQL services, for example, that I saw in that flow. You simply write those rules, you reference the label sets and save that. And now I can provision that out into my cloud environment and Cloud Secure will translate this rule into the proper context within AWS and Azure and write that rule for me to help block that kind of flow. So that's just a quick view of some of the features of Cloud Secure. You can get started today with your own free trial by visiting the URL below. Thanks for watching.